Welcome back. Another technical this week. I know I'm spoiling you because I was away on my holidays last week. Please just go easy on the fan mail. As ever, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to press subscribe, ring the little bell, hit like, and at the end, please feel free to leave me a comment. It really does help to grow the channel and get more people to see the video. So for today's technical, I'm considering a specific question. Should you get your tups or your rams, that is your male sheep, semen tested? Up here in Northumberland, we're just starting to get into tup testing season and some clients are big believers, others are very skeptical. As usual, this is all about context. With that in mind, always remember that the best person to go and talk to about specifics regarding your flock or your herd is your vet. They will know your flock, your context much better than I do. All we're doing here is laying out the generalities and hopefully generating a bit of discussion. Now there probably aren't many sheep farmers who wouldn't benefit from giving all of their breeding rams a really thorough physical examination in good time before breeding, in good time so it gives you enough time to do something about it if you find an issue. I, like many other vets, do this quite a lot at this time of year and I use a checklist to try and keep that physical exam consistent and comprehensive. It will start with the really fundamental things. Have they got good teeth? Are they in appropriate body condition? Then it will move on to more specific genital examination. For example, the circumference of the scrotum, the tone of the testicles, the ability to exteriorize the penis, and more. I hope you're watching this after the watershed. I'll do a dedicated technical to that physical examination, or as some people call it, the RAM MOT. In the meantime, I'll leave a link to more information in the video description. Often for the genital examination, farmers may want to involve their vet. Things can become a bit more technical. If the physical examination is okay, that may well be enough for you. Again, it comes down to context and often an individual's attitude to risk. What would justify the extra step of asking your vet to collect a semen sample and evaluate it? Well, again, it comes down to context and often an individual farmer's attitude to risk. There aren't any set in stone rules. There are guidelines. Again, talk to your vet. If we're going off the Sheep Veterinary Society guidelines, then there are several scenarios in which a semen evaluation might be appropriate. So number one, you might be investigating a case of infertility at a flock level. That would often be after a poor scan, for example. Second, if it's a ram you or your vet have pulled off because of a genital abnormality. Third, if the physical examination of a ram has been adequate, but he's going to be working in what you might call a high pressure situation, and again, we can divvy that up into a few different scenarios. And why is that? It's because in all of those high pressure scenarios, the outcome of having a subfertile or infertile ram would be much more disastrous. That could be they're working in an advanced breeding program such as AI or synchronization. They might be working in a single sire group, that is one ram only to a group of females rather than several rams working together. In that case, the sound rams can make up for a dud. And finally, if a ram is simply expected to mate a high ratio of females. Again, what high means is open to interpretation. More and more of our clients are expecting rams to mate 80 to 100 ewes rather than perhaps the more traditional 40 to 50. These rams really need to be working really hard, firing on all cylinders. Finally, rams might also have a semen evaluation for insurance purposes, pre or post sale, and then also Vasectomized rams, that's teasers, might be tested before their use if there's any doubt over their sterility. When electro ejaculation is carried out, of course, the vet is obliged to ensure the ram does not become distressed. With sympathetic use of the probe and appropriate restraint, that is very rarely the case. As with any exercise, semen evaluation is an important tool, but it is not without its drawbacks. For example, a tup could be physically adequate, it could have a great semen sample, but it is much more difficult to measure libido. He's actually got to deliver the sample to where it needs to go. Additionally, 
Some rams just don't seem to want to produce a sample when an electroejaculator is used. That doesn't mean they're sub or infertile. Finally, there are a whole host of reasons for a ram not producing a very good sample. Some of those are temporary and reversible, so it is very rarely appropriate to condemn any animal on a single evaluation. A common compromise we come to with many of our clients is we'll join them for the physical examination, we'll help especially with the genital side of that. Once we draft off any tup with a physical abnormality, we perform a semen evaluation on these in addition to tups that are working in those high pressure scenarios we discussed. That's it for today. As always, if you enjoyed that, please share the video, subscribe, ring the bell, like the video, and leave me a comment. Over and out.